Senator Guest tonight says despite the run-up in stocks this year, the market is not yet overvalued. He's Mark McCarron, Chief Investment Strategist at Drexel Morgan Capital Advisors. Welcome, Mark. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Let's start, first of all, if it's not overvalued, but are you still able to find value in this market? Because we always hear it's not overvalued, but it's fairly valued. Yeah, fairly valued, no longer cheap, that's for sure. And, um, you know, the uh, volatility levels are very uncomfortably low. So that combination isn't comfortable with us, but there are pockets of uh, areas of, of interest pockets of expensive stocks, but also pockets of cheap stocks, we think. You know, Mark, jump in and tell us which sectors you like, and why don't you start off with your first uh, investment pick for this evening? Yeah, you know, if, if we look across the world, global uh, health care is, is obviously a big trend, and uh, CVS is a name that uh, we've held in client portfolios for a while, and clearly benefiting from what we think is going to be an increased demand for prescription drugs and well-positioned in the market. Um, so that's that's one example, and that's a U.S. oriented uh, play. Mm -hmm. If you look across the world, and particularly in Europe, we've got some uh, positive uh, outlook. We think on, on European pharmaceuticals as well. All right. You also like some of the consumer stocks. Visa is one of them. Yeah, Visa. We just heard a little bit early in the program about the increased travel and leisure uh, demand, and, and a lot more payments are going through electronic systems. And Visa is obviously a major player there. It's a very competitive market, but Visa for us is a good, good opportunity to play that continuing growth. You know, as we move uh, on to uh, another choice of yours, which I believe is Amazon, I'm noting that that you seem to be picking or gravitating. There's nothing wrong with it, Mark towards stocks that have outperformed the market. Do you worry uh, that these stocks have gotten ahead of themselves and may slow down? How should I think about a stock that is, oh, 12 or 15 percentage points ahead of the baseline market? Yeah, if you look at it, um, I think it all depends on how you look at its growth, both at top line and bottom line. Um, Amazon, I would highlight, is probably the most expensive stock uh, that we have on this list tonight, and that's just because its, its earnings are quite minimal. Uh, its growth on the top line is significant, and its, its popularity in the market is quite strong. But Amazon, to us, benefits from that increased online uh, purchasing uh, where they're taking market share from some of the other traditional retailers. Mark, I think it's very answer. important to look at. Yes, please do. Go ahead and finish your thought, Mark. Sorry. I was going to. No, I was going to say if you look at that top line growth in anticipation of earnings in the future, I think that's where you really have to look. Could you address the overall market? Because at the beginning of the segment, you said certainly not stocks aren't cheap, but you are finding pockets. That takes me to whether or not we've seen the lion's share of the run-up in the overall market in the S&P, for instance, or the Dow for the year. Do you think we have a significant amount of room to run or not so much? Well, it's moved up quite a lot. I think the market's been more resilient than we thought it might have been given the underlying uh, economic growth. But I think if you look beyond just the U.S. into Europe, and into Asia, there are a lot more opportunities, we think, from a valuation standpoint and also uh, to benefit from a rebound in Europe in particular. Mark, among the stocks you mentioned, do you own any of them personally or does your family? Uh, no, none of those. Our, our clients do, but we do not know. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Mark McCarron is Chief Investment Strategist at Drexel Morgan Capital Advisors.